Ladies and gentlemen of the world of YouTube, um, this is a beginner's lesson, uh, to be honest. Well, beginners. Um, sort of a beginner. <laughs> um, I'm just going to show you, you know, some the pentatonic scale and some stuff you could do with it. Your basic pentatonic scale shape, uh, play on any major note. <laughs> I don't like playing it actually on the uh, on the um the fuck is that ninth fret sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, it's So if you start on the 5th fret, um, so you go like 5, 8, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8, back down. And practice alternate picking that. Loads of stuff like say you want to go up the pentatonic scale, um, just straight out like as soon as you get to as soon as you get to the seventh fret of the G string, you want to make it sound interesting, so you bend it up, throw in some vibrato there, so. So you'd go just up the pentatonic scale. You do something like that as well. So, so take this finger on the fifth fret of the G and B string and just. sound kind of cool. So you can combine those just by going like... Don't forget the vibrato. Use your wrist. pinch harmonics. You can use that when you're bending, although the lower you get down, I tend to find the harmonic sweet spot for pinch harmonics, string-wise, would be the second, third, and fourth string. Because on the lower string, you have to have your amp and everything set kind of right, and you gotta hit the right position. So, Basically, you hold your pick like that, right? And you're brushing. You're allowing the string to brush against the pick, and then really quickly against that part of your thumb. Right? So, just really quickly against that. What that does is it slightly deadens the note, creating a harmonic. So... Easy way for you to start, I mean, you could try it with low gain, but they're really sensitive at low gain. I mean, uh, Billy Gibbons tends to do it at low gain. I could do it at low gain, actually. If I turn my gain down to probably about, uh, camera flip, so about there, so uh, roughly around 10 o'clock. 
Of course, your amp may vary. I'm using a Marshall MG250 DFX. So even on low gain, it's still got quite a bit of gain. I mean, I can hit a harmonic if I put it to like 9 o'clock. It's still quite dirty. Plus, the pickups in this guitar really help. Uh, if you haven't seen this guitar before, or know nothing about it, what you're looking at, one, uh, it's an Epiphone Les Paul Prophecy Custom Plus GX in beautiful black cherry with a quilted maple top. I have a review that I've done, um, which is kind of an old one, and then I have like a follow-up review, which I've done a couple of, you know, like about an hour ago, actually, which I'm going to upload either before or after this video, I don't know, we'll see. Um, have a look at that if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, this guitar is amazing, I love it. So, yeah, yeah, just go for it. <laughs> Let me know if this video was any help at all. Uh, I mean, you know, improve and make them better. As time goes on, you have to be patient. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> no, um, anyway, ignore me, I'm hyper. But, uh, yeah, uh, have a good day. I've been Chris, and thank you for watching. Goodbye!